thank you for those examples, but I, I have limited time. Um, Mr. Medcraft, you, you, you have said uh, that product intervention powers could be used uh, to stop banks from selling their own products within a vertically integrated business system. I know Mr. Murray came out very strongly swinging, swinging against that, saying you'd overstepped your, uh, your mandate as a regulator. Would you like to comment on that? Yep. What I actually said was that in the future that with the issue about, um, uh, it was actually not saying about product governance and distribution, it was really saying basically in the future that given the issues that have come out of America and things like Wells Fargo and the cross-sell of products, the cross-sell um, is really now really not seen as a good thing. Yep. Um, and that if you think about product um, you know, governance and distribution obligation, basically obligation is there to actually make sure that you actually have products that are actually in the best interest to your customers. Okay, So if you put those two together uh, and you think about the future world, on top of thinking of the future world which is social media, actually you know, basically what banks should be doing, thinking about for the future is actually you know, the best asset that the banks have is the trust of their customers. So basically they should be thinking about you know, being an ecosystem that actually has the best products for their customers and not, they may not necessarily be their own products but are the mm. best products. And that was the point I was making is that okay. it then becomes if, if you think about it, actually if really you can't cross sell is not really, um, is not something that you can do anymore then you've got to go, well, actually, why do I need to own you if, in fact, I can't sort of force yes. your products to be sold through mm. my network? Okay. So the point is is to say, well, it, I don't necessarily need to own you. As long as I have the best products, I just want to make sure I have the right incentives. Okay? And it does say that it's not necessarily about ownership. It's about often what we said is that often it's about remuneration and incentives often is the problem so with actually selling so the wrong product, right? So Ms. Mr Murray is characterised... Sorry, there was a couple of long questions and responses from Labor. I know, I've added Labor. a few extra okay. minutes on okay. you for that minute. Sorry, so I, I, Mr Murray's uh, characterisation characterization of that as being an attack on the banks from you was, was, it was unfair? I would think it's... Uh, I think it's very forward-looking from me to sort of think about how banks might be in the future. Mm. Do you think... Um, As you know, I'm a member of the IMF's advisory group on fintech, so I'm seeing what the innovations are happening around the world. So. Well, there was a lot of speculation in the Murray inquiry before it was released that he may look at... He was going to have to look at the elephant in the room being vertical integration. I know through his experience, and it's, I'm not saying anything bad about Mr Murray, but he was probably one of the architects of that over his time as a Commonwealth Bank. Um, do you think it went far enough... To, in terms of its recommendations on vertical integration? Look, uh, I, we are delighted by Murray's recommendations, frankly. For ASIC, there are so many aspects that we've talked about already this morning that have come from Murray. Uh, so, uh, look, we, we welcome the Murray inquiry. Uh, I think, um, if you remember, the Murray inquiry was done a few years ago now. I think with what we're seeing with, um, you know, technological um, fintech disruption, uh, as I said before, I've said previously, I think potentially the massive game changer is probably digital currency being issued fiat currency in the future. So I think the banking model um, uh, is probably going to change quite dramatically in the next like decade. Like so I think wealth management businesses. Uh, things are moving much yeah. faster. And I think, well, you're sort of seeing already the sale of wealth management. Mm -hmm. As I said, yeah. um, the point being these days is I don't necessarily need to own something to actually offer the best product to my customer. And I think that, you know, I think banks are starting to realise that the days of necessarily owning something and cross-selling that, that's probably not a viable business strategy anymore. Yeah. And so I don't think, um, I think the market will reshape banking. I, I think the market will reshape banking and the market includes things like the crowd and, and digital disruption. So, mm. so just to be clear today, and this is my final, my final point. Very, very final. Uh, very final point. Um, Mr Murray, he, he went further in that interview and said that the powers should now be rescinded because of your, your speech. Um, but you are making very clear today that they're critically important to... Look, up, I, I think there was a, a very important framework that was established there and the government is acting on many of those recommendations, which we've welcomed, including the industry funding model for ASIC and taking ASIC out of the public service, product intervention, governance, uh, review. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff there, and as I said earlier, 
what we want to see is that being implemented uh, and let's see where we go from there. And you know, things are going to change in the next few years, but at least we are sort of moving forward. And that, that's certainly my objective. And I, again, I think uh, the banks are going to be subject to intense competition anyway from what, what's happening. And I think all of this, at the end of the day, is going to end up with a better outcome for consumers. The combination of, of forces underway at the moment, frankly.